Hey, third grade, how are you doing? I miss you guys. Do you remember when we did those um, string balloons where you wrapped all that glue and it was really hard to do and we made those kind of egg shapes with the yarn that's wrapped around the balloon? I haven't been back to school since we got closed and I'm wondering what they look like. I bet you all the balloons have popped inside and I bet you we have all these kind of funny string balls. So somehow or other I'll get them back to you even if it's next year because those were kind of fun. So you may want to keep that but I just wanted you to know that I will give you those back. Okay, hope you had a good Easter. Hope you've been doing some fun things and not just all homework. I know you have. I'm sure you've been outside doing fun stuff. Um, we have a new project today. It's called House Party. So when your parents hear that you're going to have a house party, I don't know how they're going to feel, but you'll, you can tell them what it's all about. Okay, what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of paper. Um, if you have drawing paper, that would be great. If you don't and you only have um, like printer or copier paper, that's fine. You could use a brown paper bag that you cut open like a grocery bag. You could use that, cut it open, flatten it out so you have a nice thick piece of paper. Um, that's not my first choice, but if that's all you have, go for that. You'll need another little piece of scratch paper. I'm using a little post-it note, but you can use whatever size you have because this is kind of for your sketch, for your sample um, practice one. You're gonna need a pencil. I'm using a mechanical, you can use a regular. You're gonna need a Sharpie uh, or other marker. You will need a ruler, so the main object with this project is the main objective is so that you can get some ruler practice because I know all the way even up to eighth grade, Using a ruler can be tricky. Measuring with a ruler is even trickier, and I'm not gonna put you through that today, but I do want you to do straight lines. So this project, you have to use your ruler with it, okay? All right, so the first step for you on this one is you need your little piece of paper and your pencil. You might want a book or a clipboard, something to write on, because you need to walk inside and outside of your house. And the first step is go outside your house and walk all the way around the house. Notice the shape of your house. I'm lucky because my house is a square. Some of you are gonna have houses with lots of different shapes like what sh I showed you in the picture on our um, when you went to your assignment. You'll see what's called a floor plan of the house. You probably already heard of a floor plan, but you're gonna draw the floor plan of your house. Simplified, okay? so. You start out by going outside and drawing the outer shape. And this part, I'm not gonna make you do a ruler on this because this is just for your practice, just to get the shape. Okay, once you get the outside shape, then you need to come in, stand right inside your front door and look at what you see in the room around you, okay? Is there a hallway, is there an entryway? Do you walk right into a room? At my house, you walk right into the living room. Um, we're not worrying about windows and doors. I'm not going to ask you to draw windows or doors. You're not going to draw fireplaces or furniture or anything like that. We don't even care whether it's tile or wood or carpet floor. Okay, we're just looking at the outline. So let me hold this up so that you can see a little bit better. I know it's not in focus there, but this is a basic, basic outline of what I'm looking for. As you walk through the house, try to make some lines that indicate where are the walls for that room. So it would probably be easier if in a minute I change my camera to look down on my desk so that you can see what I'm what I, I'm talking about. But let me describe a little bit more before we go to the other camera. You're going to go into each room. Um, when you get, uh, if you have a lot of closets, I'm not going to worry about closets. If you want to try and add a closet, you can. It's kind of fun. I still remember back to my childhood home when I was your age, and um, and I can still draw it because for whatever reason, maybe I'm a visual person. I mean, I am, but uh, I like to remember the floor plan of each house that I've lived in. It's just kind of a fun thing I do. So you're going to draw each room there. If you have a two-story house, pick one floor or the other. It doesn't matter, you can do the downstairs or you can do the upstairs. Um, get all of that drawn out on here and then you need to sit down with your ruler and your pencil and your big piece of paper. Okay, so while you're doing all that and while you're getting your big paper and everything together, I'm gonna switch my camera and I'll meet you back here in just a minute, okay? See you in a few. 
Okay, welcome back. I hope you had fun. It's harder than you think it is, isn't it? Maybe you might have had to ask uh, somebody older or a parent to come help you out with that. But you should have a little piece of paper with something like this that is the outline of your house. My house actually goes this direction, okay? And now you have your big paper. What I want you to do is Depending on the size of your house, if you have a small house like me, I'm going to ask you to make it four times on this piece of paper. Okay, hang in there. Wait till, don't, don't get upset yet. Wait and see. If you have a big house where you're maybe, you can only draw it twice. Like if you have a really long house, like my last house was very long, you can only draw it two times. Then you're only going to have to do it twice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to put this up here out of my way a little bit, and I'm going to draw my house right here. Okay, I'm going to go as close as I can to the edge so I can get a bunch of them, a bunch of uh, four different houses in. Okay, we do not care about the measurements on this right now. So it doesn't matter if it's 30 feet across the room and, and you make it 15 feet or whatever we don't care about that we're just remember this is art this is not about architecture even though it's kind of an architectural drawing it is just about making art okay so first I'm starting by making the main outline of my house make sure that you're holding your ruler straight if for example I want to make a ruler line like that but my ruler slips then my house angle is going to be a little bit weird. So try to be careful and go slow and hold your ruler. And then right here, my house cuts in just a little bit. I did tell you that it was perfectly square, but there is a little cut, so I'm going to go like this. Okay, and I have a little extra right here, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so that's my main outline of my house. How about I zoom in a little bit so you can see better? Okay, now, now I have to do all the rooms of the house. So I know that right here where the cutout is, I have, it's right here, I have a wall that goes like this, and then it, there's a break because I have, actually let's just forget about the break, okay? We're just gonna go straight up. Okay, so back here, is one of the bedrooms right here is a bathroom somebody in your class knows where I live because she and her brother go past my house on their bikes regularly so she'll say I know where that house is okay let's see then I have a little space right here where this is my living room and over here is going to be my kitchen. As you're drawing this, you might find out that you accidentally drew something a little wrong or a little crooked or the measurements aren't right. We're not really going to worry about that. This is just to have fun learning how to use the ruler and drawing some straight lines. Okay, then I have, let's see, right here is a line dividing the room there and then just a few more lines and I can use my ruler like this I can actually go around the corner for that one okay I made that a little bit crooked but we're okay with that all right this is my main house it's completely wrong as far as proper scale because this is my garage well that's way too skinny for a garage even though I do have a skinny garage and this is my room my room is not that big no one's gonna check, no one's gonna know, okay? We're just practicing making straight lines. Now, that's all you need for house one. We don't care about doors or windows or fireplaces or anything like that. By the way, this is my art studio and this is where I am sitting right now with you. I'm at the table right here looking out this window. So, okay, now, I said you had to do it four times. So now what I want you to do, or two times if you have a big house, I want you to turn your paper so you're going to do the same house, but now you're going to do it in this direction. 
And let me just do one. I don't want to go through all four of them because that'll take too long. I'm going to do one and I may even speed this up so you don't have to watch me for too long. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking in case I have to speed it up and you'll see what I mean. Okay, there's house number two. If I was gonna keep going, I would need to turn my paper again, do another house. <clears throat> Let's zoom out. Okay, so that was house two. I'd have to do another house and another house. Notice how I put them right up next to each other. So that line is a shared line, okay? There's not a space in between it. Because at the end, after you have your four houses or your two houses or if you have a weird shape house and you can only fit three on there that's okay what you are going to have is a shape with a lot of different shapes in between okay now i want you to color all the shapes in between i think when i do this i might be using some watercolor paints but I'm gonna leave it up to you if you wanna use markers or crayons or color pencils or whatever you have at home, do that. It might be kind of fun for you to make house one a certain color scheme, like maybe this house is all pastel colors. Maybe this house is really bright rainbow colors. Maybe this house is neutral, like brown, tan, gray, Maybe this house right here is just any old thing, okay? You, at the end, you will have a very colorful, geometric, abstract drawing. So, even though I said you're having a house party, you're actually doing an abstract, geometric drawing. So, you learn two things at once. You learned, well, three. You learned a little bit about architectural floor plans and how to use a ruler. You learned about color schemes, maybe and you learned about making an abstract painting. Um, if you happen to have graph paper at home, it would have been fine if you used graph paper. So I'm just gonna say that here. If you want to, you can. So hopefully this turns out to be more fun than frustrating for you. Um, remember again, it doesn't need to be perfect. No one's gonna know if you did a room wrong. So have fun with that. And please remember, send me some pictures. I'd love to see them. You can uh, take a picture and submit it through the Google Classroom, or if you have trouble with that, then send me, please, an email with your picture. So take care, thumbs up to you, have a great day.